free movies on YouTube. Now I did mention in my previous video that there are a ton of free streaming apps to help you save money instead of paying for Netflix, Hulu, and Prime, all of those movie streaming apps that you have to pay for monthly. There are free apps. I'll put that video up here if you haven't seen it. But I did forget to mention YouTube. YouTube is just a great source when it comes to everything, including free movies and free shows. YouTube has their own selection of free movies, but if you do not find that selection appealing, you can just go into the search bar and put like free lifetime movies or free horror movies, free comedy movies, and there will be other profiles, other YouTubers posting movies for free. Now, it might not be the best quality. There will be ads most likely, but at least it's free. So that's another little sneaky way um, to get by to watching something that you might like or watching something new where you don't necessarily have to pay for. Price matching is very, very important, especially if you're gonna do a big purchase. So the first example is last summer, my boyfriend, he has a three tenement. It's about 80 miles away from here. His second floor unit, the stove and the fridge broke at the same time. Now that's not a problem because he did purchase the house and it was very outdated and the appliances have been there since the early 1990s. So those appliances did their job and it's just time to upgrade them. So we did go to Home Depot and we found a stove that we liked for that unit. And it was very expensive. So what I did was I just got on my phone and I checked Lowe's. I checked, you know, all the other appliance places around us to see if they had that exact stove for less and they did so Lowe's had it for $200 cheaper than Home Depot so we ended up going up to a worker and asking them if they price match and the lady said that they normally don't price match but since Lowe's had this same stove for $200 less they decided to give it to us for $200 less so of course businesses aren't going to want you to go out and buy that same product that they have for less somewhere else. So they are gonna try to make a deal with you. They don't want you walking out the doors. So it was a great thing for my boyfriend because instead of paying $200 more, he did end up paying $200 less just by taking 10 minutes out of our time to look up that particular item. Same thing goes for cars. When you are purchasing a vehicle and I mean, this is just my experience. I personally don't like doing payments on vehicles and I don't like buying brand new cars because the minute you buy a brand new car and you get off the lot, you're losing 30% of value. It doesn't make any sense to me. Everybody's different. But for me, I believe in buying out a used car and I know not everybody has the money to do so. And I get that. I had the money to purchase the Acura that I have. It is old, it's 10 years old, but I was able to buy that car outright because I got into an accident and I ended up getting my money back from the car that I was, the previous car that I was driving. I ended up doing my research in 2021. That's when my accident happened with my old Honda. A guy ran a stop sign and completely totaled my car out. I have told the story numerous times, but what I didn't tell you guys is that with searching for this particular SUV, because I really fell in love with it, I like the gas mileage, I like that it's reliable, and it's still part of the Honda family. It is a decent size for when we do have a family, and it's, you know, it's got low mileage. It's only at like 113,000 miles, and for me, that is low mileage, you know, coming from a girl that has had over 13 cars back when I was like a teenager in my early 20s. All of my cars were, you know, 200,000 miles and up. So this is a baby to me still. So moral of the story, I did my research with this car and I went to Acura and Pivoty and on their website, it said that they were selling this Acura for 14 grand. When I went to the dealership, they had it marked on the window for 17 grand. And I said, no, <laughs> on the website. And I even screenshotted the picture and everything. And they ended up price matching what was on their website. They apologized. But if I never did my research on price matching in general, I would have paid $17,000 for this car. I probably wouldn't have paid that. I probably would have just walked out without a deal or you know, without a car. So it's always good to take a step back and do your research. I know I'm talking about this a lot, but price match you guys we always have our phones in our hands instead of being on social media 
24 7 when it comes to big purchases or even little purchases price match just the other day we needed something for the house and i of course i went on my phone and i found out that amazon had it 10 times cheaper instead of all these other stores around us so it only takes a couple seconds to find what you're looking for at a decent price wear and return so what i mean by this i know some people are going to cringe but hey when you're on a budget you're on a budget okay so i have done this a couple times when it came to special events now i have been invited numerous times back in the day when i was in my early 20s to late 20s to weddings and office parties and i didn't necessarily want to spend the money to have a fancy dress or fancy shoes in my closet because what happens when you buy a dress for a certain occasion you don't wear it again so there was one time i had to go with my boyfriend to an office party i think i was like 28 and i ended up purchasing it was a christmas party by the way it was a christmas office this party and they had it in like this giant hotel it was beautiful it was very fancy and this is when he used to work for corporate but i ended up purchasing a purple dress it was like off the shoulders it was like that mauve purple color very festive for the holidays very fancy looking and i ended up getting shoes and of course <laughs> what i did was i kept the receipt i took the tag into like my bra and i wore it all night and then the following week I made sure it was all nice and clean. Same thing with the shoes. When it comes to wearing shoes from stores and trying to bring them back, put stickers underneath. Like put like, um, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> I know this is super weird for me to even talk about on camera, but it is a good idea if you're on a budget. Put like the clear tape under your shoes and then when the night's over, you can take it off and it's like you never wore them. So you're not making any marks at the bottom. So with that all being said, everything was intact. Everything looked brand new. I lint rolled everything, made it look nice and I returned it because I knew that I only needed it for a special event. So I know it's not the best thing to do all the time, but if you are in a pinch, this is the sneakiest way to dress the parts and get your money back. Don't do this all the time. Only do it for special occasions, all right, you guys? Also, I do want to mention that this is a better way to save because if you keep buying random clothes for random occasions, they're just gonna sit in your closet and then you're gonna have to declutter them. So you're just wasting money. So if someone else can purchase that purple dress, I'm sure someone else did, purchased it for good, you know, they just liked it that much. Then I'm glad I brought it back because that dress, I would have never worn that other than that occasion because it just wasn't my color or it just wasn't my thing. I just wore it for that particular occasion. I was gonna go in an all black dress, that is my thing, but they sent out like a dress code thing and they were like, oh, no all black they wanted people to wear festive colors so it was a whole ordeal when it came to that special event um, and there's been weddings that I have been invited to where I bought a dress and I returned it just to go to the party with and you know just make sure you don't spill anything on it make sure you don't treat it like crap treat it like it is a rental okay so you're just renting these items I know there's apps where you can rent clothes and shoes now which is cool because who wants their closet filled with clothes and shoes that they don't use I know I don't because that's just basically wasted money sitting there. Always, always check if there is a coupon online before wasting money. So there's been many times in the past where I would just purchase items. Say I purchase these glasses and then I get home and in the lobby, I see a coupon for these exact same glasses for $10 off. Knowing damn well, I just paid 30. So I could have paid 20. And also you can look on your phone. There's been times where... I look on my phone for my boyfriend, like I said, for big ticket items. You can find coupons on Retail Me Not, like right away. And there's been numerous times where I've saved him hundreds of dollars just by searching coupons for Best Buy or coupons for Home Depot. And they will all pop up. I think the most reliable source is Retail Me Not, but there are other apps and websites out there. I just prefer to go on retail me not because it always is just like the first one that pops up and it works every time so before you purchase an item check if there's coupons in that within that store that you're at or on that particular item a brand or something use your phone your phone is very powerful it's not just for social media like i said and the last sneaky way to save money, the last thing you can do is to freeze as many things as you can, especially in the winter time. So fruit is very expensive here in Massachusetts. And for me personally, I don't buy fresh fruit in the winter time because it is just so damn 
pricey. A box of strawberries in Boston can easily cost you $10 or more. It's insane, you guys, and I'm not joking. I've showed the prices on my vlogs, and a lot of you guys are very shocked to see how expensive fruit is here. So instead of purchasing fresh fruit, I go for frozen because it's usually five dollars a bag or less sometimes it's 99 cents a bag depending on what store you go to they're not going to taste exactly the same as fresh fruit i get it but it's just another way to save money and i'm not just saying this with fruit but say you have a large family and you're constantly buying bread and it's constantly going bad you can freeze bread when i worked in a nursing home many years ago i would help the chefs put everything in the freezer when the truck came so the minute we got fresh bread we would freeze all of it. It saves you the inconvenience of opening the bread and then there's mold. So we freeze our bread and we freeze it right away when we come home. Or even if my, my mother-in-law or anybody gives us fresh bread, we freeze it. Because if you have it out, it's gonna go bad within a week. And in our household, we don't go through a whole loaf of bread within a week. Like it takes us about a month to go through a whole loaf of bread. So a loaf of bread can last us 30 days if we freeze it so yeah this is just something i wanted to mention that if you do buy fresh produce you can freeze it it will save you a ton of money in the long run and you won't have that much food waste going into the garbage every week because your food won't go bad as fast as it would if it was completely fresh all the time Anyways, you guys, I hoped you enjoyed this video. I know it's a different little setup. I'm trying to film more in the living room uh, while the lighting is somewhat decent here. I'm trying to switch things up instead of always being in the bedroom all the time. I hoped you enjoyed. Also, let me know down below what is your favorite sneaky way to save money or just to cut back on certain items. Ooh.